it's gonna turn into one of those weird ass things, bro, where you're gonna start seeing ghosts with that camera, I swear. Oh, True. No. That used to freak me out as a kid. I had night vision goggles. I remember when I was like <laughs> oh, smaller, smaller, I used to see like little like white circles in the night vision. I used to think it was like spirits. <laughs> that that would have freaked me out, man. That would freaked me out too. <laughs> Smoking too much of that indoor, bro. every time I ask you a question. So that's okay. just that's how it's gonna work. Hello there, how's it going guys? My name is Ez Gone, and this is First We Smoke, the show that interviews on Cloud9. I got my guest here, Pariah Pete. What's up y'all? Be back to pushing back to Kodak Black with that transport. So let me tell you how this is gonna work. We're gonna be basically taking some hits right here, Pete. We're gonna be asking you some questions and we're gonna let the ball roll. Oh yeah. Alright, so Let's get a, let's get a little bowl uh, loaded right here. That right there, the first hit, bro. Hmm. First question to you, man, is um, you know um, why music? You know, a lot of people you know can go off into anything. Mm -hmm. What was special about music that got you into it, man? Music has always like been a part of my life ever since like my earliest memories. To be honest, gotcha. my earliest years were like my sisters playing like. Nelly, 50 Cent, like my brother playing like Dr. Dre and shit and just all Definitely. kinds of, yeah exactly. Yeah. And so music just like became a part of my life like hella early, like just a passion for listening to it, like elementary school, right. like I'd already be on the bus like just with headphones in, not talking to people. But, <laughs> it um, became a habit a bit. Yeah exactly, and then around like sophomore year I started actually taking it seriously, but I was writing songs in like fifth grade. Um, Poetic? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Then, yeah, my senior year, I started, like, really taking it, like, seriously and actually, like, pursuing this as, like, a career and, like, actually, like, make money and, like, create an impact with my music and, like, do these shows and everything, so. So, B, what were, what were some of your uh, musical inspirations? Like, um, like, if you could tell me your top five artists that inspired you, who would they be? <laughs> I'm going I'm to answer that currently because kind of the early on in my life it was the people that I named earlier like 50 and Eminem and Dr. Dre and shit. Andre 3000 is always a big inspiration for me. Yeah. Um, Isaiah Rashad, Kendrick. Kendrick's been my favorite rapper ever since like section 80. So that was like my 8th grade and he's been my favorite rapper. But I don't listen to him like a whole lot. And How'd you get into MF Doom? I could because I, I've heard I've heard some of his music mm -hmm. and you know I mean I, 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 I liked it but it's always a funny story when I hear somebody on how they got into it. Yeah, to be honest, I don't even like have a story exactly how I got into MF MF Doom. I think it was my homie. In your life? I think it was my homie Austin, but it was a collective of my friends like Chase, uh, Caden. Like they were all like listening to that shit, so it just like seeped seeped into my life somehow. <laughs> oh, and I, right and I just listened to like nothing but like MF Doom and like other like '90s like boom bap type shit. Like my sophomore and junior mm, year. Yeah, that sounds like some good stuff, man. I mean, yeah. it, it sounds like you grew up with some with the right stuff, you know. Yeah. I mean, to to, to see where you're going, you know. Yeah, um, but but around my senior and junior year, I'm Drake for the longest time until like last year, and well, I kind of like that. Drake. I like Drake around like Take Care for you, but like in like 20 like 13, like I always talk shit about Drake. I became open minded about Drake. All right, man. Well, you guys hear that out there, man. One thing I want to ask you, man, um, if you could actually perform anywhere in the world, bro, where would it, like, where, number one spot, where would that be? <coughs> um, I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. I feel like performing in Brazil would be cool just to say you performed in Brazil. Or Poland, you know what I mean? That's where my roots go back. Performing in Poland would be tight. I, I mean, I'm going to tour everywhere eventually, like, so I already know, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see places... No, bro. Pete. The Pariah. Who would be your number one artist, alive or dead, that you would want to perform with? Perform with? Like, make a song or, with? Or collaborate. Collaborate? I mentioned him in my influences, probably Andre 3000. Yeah? He's, like, such a dope writer to me. Like, he's definitely one of my favorites. Or, um, 
making a song with Isaiah Rashad would be lit. That'd be super lit. <laughs> that would. Would it be because uh, lyric wise or yeah. or style wise? Well, Andre lyric wise, um, gotcha. and then Isaiah. I think that would just be like a dope song. I did, I did get to uh, to what's it called? Uh, listen to literally all your music. Oh yeah. Um, it was. Uh, I I enjoyed your vibes, man. Um, I I I came up to this song called uh, Abyss. Um, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure uh, a lot of your followers would agree that it was that it's one of your most popular ones because of all the likes that you have on it. Honestly, um, as I was listening to it though, I was like, "Man, who is this?" Because you know the introduction, there, there's somebody talking, and you know I just let it roll. And, and, and as I was listening to the song, and then it just hit me. I was like, "Hey, I was like, that's Alan Watts." I was like, "So I just wanted to ask you that, man. Like, uh, what, what's up with that? You know, I mean." Uh, my homie in high school, Caden, he put me on to Alan Watts, and I would just listen to hella Alan Watts. <laughs> All right. And um, the way that I came across that, though, it was so fucking special. Like, I remember when I put that snippet, I found it randomly on YouTube. It was, like, a minute or some shit, because yeah. the intro is, like, a minute long. And I just like copy and pasted it into the beginning of the beat because I had all that like extra time while like the beat rises and like it would be dope to just like put in the beginning yeah. and shit. And it fit like perfectly. Like as soon as he stopped talking after I edited it and shit, like it goes straight into the beat. It drop. does. And it then does. that happened naturally. Like I didn't have to tweak anything. That's pretty crazy that. about that. Yeah. Man. So that's that was just like that's a freaking cool. <laughs> I do have one kind of silly question, man. I looked What's at up? a lot of your pictures, man. And I ain't never seen you with that with your hair down. So yeah. is, is that like natural or because it looked natural, bro? Like in all your pictures, <laughs> just started like growing my hair this way. Like I just push it up every single day. Yeah. And so now, like if I shower and like wash my hair and shit, and I like hop out, like it'll stand up, but it'll just be like looser and just like less, less. Like style, I guess. Volumous, I guess. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Because I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. Because oh. of that, <laughs> I always. That's get how I always references. wanted to like style my hair as a kid. Oh, okay. but, um, how did you end up in 20 pounds, man? Like, what's the story behind that? Behind just uh, going into a group. So, I actually co-founded 20 pounds with, with my homie Crust. Oh. Yeah, thank you. I co-founded it with my homie Crust, who actually produced Tell Me. The song you were talking about, you know what I mean? They fucked with light. Yeah, we got crazy producers, crazy. So yeah, so it was Crust and I, and then I initially wanted Jalopy Bungus and JD, um, and I and I really liked Mastermind, but at the time I just like wasn't like down for him to be in the crew, I guess. And then Kaylee Morg, who is on Abyss, yeah. Um, she after I played her my first tape, she asked to like join the crew because it was like early information, like we haven't like even publicly like told people that were like in existence and shit and Ooh. so but jalopy before he uh entered the crew he said that he wanted mastermind and he was like that's the only way i'm gonna enter so it was fucking crust me jalopy jd mastermind and then and we were rolling like that for the first few months i dropped a tape first then mastermind did and then uh at september 4th on our rebel lounge show that was also sold out uh, Damn, we we okay. added knowledge Nick and skates into the to the crew. That's pretty wild, man. Yeah, that's pretty wild. And so it, it just it, I bet it feels like it just happened like all of a sudden, man. Yeah, and it's all been supernatural. Like I I love these like these dudes. They're they're my they're my brothers. Like real that's, shit. That's pretty good, man. It ain't nothing like it ain't nothing like doing something with like the people that that surround you, man. That you love like that's mm -hmm. exactly. That's, that's the twenty. Oh, the twenty. Okay, 20. okay. The group album. The group album. How that's do you just feel amazing. About that? It's amazing. Honestly, like each song could potentially be someone's favorite, and that's how we designed it. And it's solid as fuck, and it's thorough. And we talk about so much within like thirty-five minutes or however long it is. Only eight songs. Like we talk about. A I lot. don't know, man. But it was a long. It was a long bus ride for me, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was I, I I was listening to it last night, and then I listened to it this morning, and then I listened to it again on my way here. But it's 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 pretty. It's really good, man. Hell I'm yeah. not gonna say it's pretty good. This is really good. Like oh, yeah. I, I I enjoyed the beats, dude.
Couple bills tucked in my jam sport. My homie back to pushing backs. He Kodak Black with that transport. I just move so swift. Dodging all the drama while y'all stuck in the midst. Watch me drift like this Tokyo. Telling lies, you Pinocchio. I'm on a roll. I'm cutting ties, burning bridges just like Bungie Roll. If I fall, I always bounce back. You can find me with the lock pack. You can find me with a mound that I'm on top of it. They can't stop the kid. They acting hateful like there ain't no love to offer them. You see, I ain't take game from a player with no fucking points. I'm Will Chamberlain in the paint. I never dish a point. Couple bills tucked in my jam sport. Used to be filled with books. Now they booking me for shows. Used to wanna stay inside. From my life, I would just hide. I was running from myself. Drown myself inside my doubt. Now I'm swimming for the Belt. Like who the fuck is Michael Phelps? You can't feel the pain I felt To the heavens I would pray For my mother and myself And my well-being, me being alright I'm trying to travel as far as starlight Bills tucked in my jam sport Couple, couple, couple mil I got plans to export You just in my way I've been chilling in the cut I'm never at my game I've been saving up my luck I'm about to spend the pay Couple bills tucked in my jam sport Couple, couple, couple mil I got plans to export you just in my way I've been chillin' in the cup Never am I yet I've been saving up my luck I'm about to spend the pain You ain't never met another dude with groove like me You ain't never met another dude who groove like me Hey, you ain't even cool with